You know, there was a soap opera universe before John and Jackson came to daytime, but he kind of changed it, and he basically was the last great teen sensation on the soaps because playing Lucky in General Hospital brought him uh, to worldwide recognition, uh, multiple Emmy wins and nominations. And for me, probably one of the most underrated actors of the last, you know, uh, 30 years could have been Anakin Skywalker. A lot of people wanted to play Darth Vader in Star Wars War. Hayden Christensen got the job. That was a big rumor. But for me, uh, everything he's done has turned to gold, a very religious guy too. What he's doing in his uh, personal life, in his spiritual life, uh, needs to be heavily respected because he's he's uh, carving his own path. Could Would you believe he's still only 41? Now, born May 11, 1982. He's best known for his role as Lucky Spencer in uh, GH between 93 and 99 in 2009 and 2011, which won him five Daytime Emmy Awards. He is also known for his roles in the films of Deep Bed in the Ocean, 99, Tuck Everlasting, Dirty Dancing, Havana Nights, and Riding the Bullet, uh, <clears throat> which is a Stephen King uh, uh, movie, as well as the television series Nashville, <coughs> 2012 to 18, which he received a Critics' Choice Television Award nomination. Uh, born in uh, Orlando, the son of Jeannie Nia Sharp, an amateur ventriloquist and businesswoman, and Dr. Rick Ricky Lee Jackson, a family musician, country musician, and congressional candidate in the state of Washington. Jackson was raised in Battleground, Washington, with his brother Richard Lee Jackson, who is now an actor and musician, and his sister Candice, now a lawyer, author, and official in the Trump administration. Johnson uh, attended a Meadow Grade, Glade Elementary School in 91. Jackson's family took a trip to Universal Studios, where both Richard and Johnson decided to pursue acting. The brothers took acting lessons in near, nearby Portland, Oregon, before moving part-time to Burbank with their mother in 93. After doing various commercials, within six months, he won a role on the ABC's daytime soap opera General Hospital in the big uh, comeback of Luke and Laura. Jackson continued his studies as he worked, graduating high school at the age of 16. Now, his first noble role was Lucky in General Hospital, uh, where he played from 93 to 99 with heavy acclaim throughout North America and the world. He won numerous awards for his work as Lucky, mainly because of his uh, response to the revelation, revelation that his mother, uh, played by Jeannie Francis, Laura Spencer, was raped by her father, played by Luke Spencer, played by Tony Geary. Some massive scenes, ladies and gentlemen, and the momentum of his great acting came from that. And he was all, not only a heartthrob, he was the heart and soul or the conscience of General Hospital for a number of years. Now, uh, you can watch the YouTube of the famous confrontation. Now, he was nominated for the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Younger Actor in a Drama Series six times, winning it for the first time in 95 and again in 98 and 99, making him the record holder for both nominations and wins for the Younger Actor category. He also won Soap Opera Digest Awards in 95 and 90, 99. He was nominated for Young Artist Awards in 96, 97, and 99, and he won the Hollywood Reporter's Young Star Award in 95, 97, 98, and 99, and was nominated in 2000. Jackson also became a popular teen heartthrob among fans, featured heavily on various fan magazines, such as Tiger Beat and garnering many fan clubs and internet fan sites. In 99, he was named one of People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People. Now, while working at General Hospital, Jackson started his first feature film, Cap Nowhere, as Morris Mud Himmel in 94, which of course Kira co-starred uh, Jonathan Frakes and Jeannie Francis. Also during this time, he started a made-for-TV films, Prisoners Ender Incorporated, and A Legend of Ruby Silver, and made a guest appearance during Season 5 of Boy Meets World. In 99, Jackson filmed The Deep End of the Ocean with Michelle Pfeiffer shortly before leaving GH, and uh, Deep End director Ulu Grosbard spoke of Jackson as an enormously gifted actor. He brought a weight and a presence chemistry with Michelle from the beginning. He's only 15, he's a very serious actor, with both concentration and humor, Pfeiffer added. When Jonathan and I read together, it was like he was own my own son. And we just went at each other in only this way that our mother and son could do. His reading was exhilarating. He was nominated for Young Star Awards in 97 for the, for the Zenda movie and 99 for The Deep End of the Ocean. So you're seeing a presence of, uh, of Jonathan, which led to this. 
In December 99, Newsweek magazine reported Jackson was likely to be taking the role of Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. However, he was soon dropped from the running and publicly speculated the prior publicity had hurt his chances due to creator George Lucas's preference for privacy. Now, is he a better actor than Hayden Christensen? Yes. Could he have done a better job as Darth Vader than Christensen? Yes. But the problem was, was George Lucas going to put a soap star that was going to dominate the momentum of the movie because it'll be Johnson Jackson Star Wars? Because he was growing and growing and growing, similar to Harrison Ford, actually, uh, in his early years, American Graffiti and all that, before he hit Star Wars. Now, he continued his film career in 2000 with the independent film True Rights and the ABC TV movie Trapped in a Purple Haze. He also wrote and directed a short film with his brother Richard, entitled Crystal Clear, which won Best Dramatic Short Film and the Coen Brothers Award for Dual Filmmaking at the Brooklyn Film Festival. In 2002, Jackson played one of his well, most well-known film roles as Jesse Tuck and Tuck Everlasting, which he filmed simultaneously with the Al Pacino thriller Insomnia. I went to see Tuck Everlasting at the Temple Theater in Holton, Maine. Let me tell you, sir, ladies and gentlemen, when Johnson took off his helmet in that famous scene, the women were just excited. A great moment in my movie-going uh, history. Now, uh, in 2004... Jackson filmed uh, The Bomb, Dirty Dancing, Nevada Nights, and the Stephen King movie, Riding the Bullet. From 08 through 09, he had a recurring role as Kyle Reese in the hit Fox TV show, Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles, playing the father of John Connor before the show was canceled. Now, on September 29, 2009, it was announced that Jackson would return to GH on October 27 to reprise the role of Lucky. In 2011, Jackson won his fourth Daytime Emmy and first Outstanding Supporting Actor Award. On December 7, 2011, it was announced that Jackson had decided to leave GH, and his first air date was on December 23, 2011. His character uh, was not planned to be recast or killed off, leaving the door open for Jackson to return to the show in the future. In 2012, Jackson won his fifth Daytime Emmy and second uh, consecutive win for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. Now, in 2012, in a, in a great get for the show, he got the role of singer-songwriter Avery Barkley in the ABC drama Nashville. Very big internationally, although a disappointment in North America made him a big star in the UK. Along with the rest of the cast, Johnson sang and played the guitar himself on the series. Now, a very big musician. He took guitar lessons and saw himself to play the piano. He had an evolving uh, band uh, for years, which included his brother, uncle, and father, named Scarlet Road. By 2002, Johnson and his brother Richard had rena- renamed the group Jono and the Rock. Now, various uh, albums and songs through the years, and he's also uh, done independent uh, support songs for various Christian causes. Now, he did p- publish a book of poetry under the name J.S. Jackson in 2012, titled Book of Solace and Madness. He, um, he also... Um, uh, released uh, The Mystery of the Art, Becoming an Artist and Image of God in 2014. A very, again, a very spiritual person. Now, at, at age 20, Jackson married former GH actress Lisa Voltaggio on June 21st, 2002. Jackson told the Chicago uh, Sun-Times, some people thought we we're a little young to get married, but we didn't need to, uh, didn't see the need to wait. When it's right, it's right. The couple moved to Jackson's hometown of Battleground, Washington, to raise their family. They have three children, Caleb, Adora, and Titus Gabriel, uh, who are, at this point, young uh, teenagers. Now, according to Jackson, and he's talking about his faith several times through the years, and this is what he said in, in 98, I never presented Jesus in a car salesman sort of way. I don't believe in that for me. I don't want to turn anyone away because they're feeling pressured. The most positive influence I've had is people seeing the kind of life I'm living and the way I treat people. If people ask, we're not... Uh, uh, comes from, I say it comes from Jesus, and I'm definitely not ashamed of that, because he was a son of Seventy Adventist parents, and he was raised as a non-denominational uh, Christian. Now, uh, there's many, um, uh, many things he's involved in the years, and of course, uh, the very famous thing. Not uh, we'll get into this into a second here. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. What happened, a very interesting thing in recent years, not say he's in re, uh, retirement or semi-retirement, but he's spending most of his time lately concentrating on his 
uh, support and activities in Europe. As of September 1822, orthochristian.com reports that Jackson had moved to Ireland to help support a new monastery being founded by the Romanian Orthodox metropolis of southern and western Europe. He explains in an interview, it's a main reason I move. I've been praying for years for an Orthodox monastery to be founded in Ireland. Now, again, on film, uh, Camp Nowhere, Prisoner of Zenda, The Legend of Ruby Silver, Deep End in the Ocean, True Rights, Crystal Clear, Trapped in a Purple Haze, Skeletons in a Closet, On the Edge, Insomnia, Tuck Everlasting, Dirty Dancing of Ananites, Riding the Bullet, Venom, A Little Thing Called Murder, and Calamity in 2010. On TV, of course, 93 to 99, 09 to 11 in 2015, Lucky Spencer, 98, Boy Meets World, uh, a very interesting plot, check it out, not to give it away, but he doesn't, he plays against type, 2001, Night Visions, 2003, the third incarnation of uh, Twilight Zone, which is uh, the pilot kind of, very, very uh, tough episode, 08, One Tree Hill, 08, 09, Terminator, the Sarah uh, Connor Chronicles, 2002-18, Nashville, main cast, 121 episodes. And, of course, he hosted, hosted uh, Nash Chat in 2017 as a guest host for week four. Now, soundtrack appearances, again, uh, the music of Nashville. Awards and nominations, 95, Daytime Emmy, Soap Opera Digest, Young Star Award. He won all three. Uh, 96, Daytime Emmy, Young Artist Award, dominated. Uh, 97, uh, Young Star Award, Best Awards, Younger Actor in a Medford TV Movie, Best Performance by Younger Actor in a Daytime TV Series, One Outstanding Younger Actor in a Drama Series, Nominated, Daytime Emmy, Young Artist Award, Best Performance of Drama uh, on Daytime, Young Actor Nominated, <coughs> 98 won the Outstanding Young Actor in a Drama Series, and Best Performance by Young Actor in a Daytime TV Program, Daytime and Young Star, in 99, Won the Daytime Emmy, Outstanding Younger Actor, Soap Opera Digest winner, Outstanding Younger Lead Actor, Young Artist Awards, Boris Performance in the Daytime Serial, nominated, and the Young Star Awards, Best Performance by Young Actor in a Daytime TV Program, and Best Performance by Young Actor in a Drama Film. 2000, nominated for Daytime Emmy and the Young Star Awards in the Younger Actor category, Young Hollywood Awards, won for Best Breakthrough Male, and the Brooklyn Film Festival for Crystal Clear won Best Narrative Short and the Coen Brothers Award for Duels. Saturn Awards, Best Performance by a Younger Actor, Riding the Bullet, 2010, 11, 12, uh, nominated and won two awards for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama, and 2016 Critics' Choice Television Awards, nominated for National Best Supporting Actor, even though it was a lead, but that's okay. Now, how good is Johnson Jackson? Well, put it this way, ladies and gentlemen, there's a big void in daytime television is done by him but he's going on his own path right now so basically ladies and gentlemen please keep an eye on johnson jackson and if you want to see his great work you got nashville deep head in the ocean um the uh, uh all the, uh, the youtubes but for me he should have been anakin skywalker but lucas strange cat that's all i can say so if you like what we're doing with our daytime uh, tv uh podcast including general hospital let us know what to like like, comment, subscribe, or share. Of your old memories of Lucky, what was your favorite era of Lucky? Thanks for listening. Bye.